This is Trip. Welcome to my channel. Well, this weekend is Mother's Day weekend. And I'll give you a little bit about the history of, of this uh, occasion. Anna Jarvis was a New England lady, and she wanted to honor her mother, who was a Sunday school teacher. And she was the lady that had the most to do with, with Mother's Day coming about. In 1914, Congress passed a law making Mother's Day the first, the second Tuesday in May. And by the way, it's supposed to be Mother apostrophe S. In other words, it's the singular. It's for your individual mother. It doesn't mean for all the mothers in the world. It just recognizes your individual mom. Anyway, Miss Jarvis hated the commercialization that Mother's Day had become. She hated the cards, the greeting card industry. She hated everything about the flowers and all of it because she felt people were just too lazy to even write a letter to their mother. And it's so easy just to send an email now. You know, there's nothing to it. By the way, I'm having a glass of nice southern ice sweet tea with a lemon, just the way that Mom liked it. She liked her sweet tea, and she liked chocolates. See, I cleverly arranged these chocolates here in some kind of a pattern. I don't know why or what it means. I just did that. just like mom. I like my iced tea also. But of course not with so much sugar. So Mrs. Jarvis spent her, her last years fighting Mother's Day. She spent her inheritance, her entire inheritance, fighting it for the rest of her life. And she died, I think, almost in poverty. She was actually arrested during a protest against Mother's Day in 1948, and I believe she died shortly thereafter. So, a very sad end for Ms. Jarvis. So I want you to do something nice for your mom. You know, if you still have her, if she's still around, if you're talking to her, give her a call, take her out to dinner, or visit her, what you should be doing anyway. You know, every day should be Mother's Day. Anyhow, make a card for her. You don't have to spend a lot of money and enrich the greeting card companies. Just make a little card. The last few years that I had my mom and dad, I'd make cards for them. And I can't draw worth anything. But I would try to make some little thing, usually a just different things, like a cat was my favorite one. So, you know, Mom loved these little chocolates. She loved silver bells, Hershey's Kisses. Of course, everybody loves them. All things in moderation, right? This is the card. One card. But this one I bought at the store, as you can see, from me. From Trip. Thanks and a happy Mother's Day from Trip. Kisses and hugs. Down there at the bottom here. You can see the year is 1989. And I was 38 years old. Yes, I got lazy that year. Really, I think I just like the card. It's just real cute. But you 
don't need to give any real big fancy card like that, you know. But when you look at the bell curve, you're familiar with the bell curve, of course, right? Like that. Those and the moms in the middle, 80%. You know, they're good moms. And they tried to take care of you the best way they could. Maybe you weren't planned and you came into the world a bit of a surprise. But the 80%, they loved you and took care of you. Then you have the 10% at the very, on the left side of the, of the chart, I guess, or the right. And they were the 10% of the moms who were just, just gold and who were angels. And that would have been my mom. She was absolutely perfect. She passed away from Alzheimer's. She had Alzheimer's for, for nine years, from 2001 until she passed away in, in 2010, late 2010. And she was a perfect mom, a perfect mother. I feel sorry, though, for the people who, whose moms are in the lower 10%. Maybe they had some problems. Maybe they weren't very good moms. Maybe, you, maybe you've been estranged from them for a long time. Of course, that could be anywhere within the, within the spectrum. It could be the 80% of the, of the, of the so-called normal average moms, or it could be in the the 10% of the best moms in the world. But I think if they were in the, if they were in the top 10%, you probably wouldn't be having any fight with them. But my heart goes out to those of you who may, maybe ever, never knew their mom, or who's, uh, who just grew up without, without, a, without a, a mother. Maybe you have a stepmother, and so many of them are very good people. It's just the way that it goes. But if you're, if you have a, a problem with your mom, and I've met people in my life who did, if you're estranged from her, you don't, and you don't talk to her. If it's not, if it's nothing that she did that was really so horrible, then you really need to, to try to make up. Because there are people whose mothers are so far away, or don't have a mom at all. So how lucky you are that you do have one. So, Mother's Day is the time to try to remember your mother. And every day should be Mother's Day. But if you have a problem, or she has a problem, try to do the best you can to overlook it and just realize how, how lucky you are. To be able to talk to your mother. Mom, I love these little chocolates. So this silver bell and this glass of tea for you, Mama.